Hello, I'm Captain Mal, and this is Sid Meier's Pirates, and the continuing adventures of the crew of the dread pirate ship Fuzzy Bear. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. As you can see, my people are, are kind of pissed off at me now. They're unhappy. They want more gold. We've got way too much crew. Way too much crew. So what we're going to do is we're going to go, and we're going to attack a town so that we can see what that looks like. If I can get my ship over there. And how long have we been at sea? Let's double check. Uh, Captain's log? No, no, no. Fleet status. Status. There we go. 13 months. Okay, so we've been at sea for a while. Um, and you can keep them happy for a long time if the crew's small and if you have, you know, special items like musical instruments and. If you've got, um, you know, different kinds of officers, like a cook and other stuff on your, what the game considers officers. I guess maybe they're specialists is really a better way to refer to them. But I am going to try to keep them happy by lowering the number of people I have and attacking a, a Spanish, uh, a Spanish uh, town. Now, the question is, which one? Um, as you can see here on the map, let me zoom out a little bit, the little uh, emblems here indicate like the wealth of a town. So like San Juan is only three. Whereas if we go over here, now I don't have current information on some of these other towns, but like I know that um, Puerto Principal and Santiago and Santo Domingo, th these places all have higher value. Like I think Santo Domingo is four wealth. Havana is is extremely high wealth, um, but I don't have big enough crews. I don't have a big enough crew to take these out. However, I can tackle San Juan, and I want to show you guys land combat. So we're gonna go for that anyway. Let's take out this little ship here first. Anytime you have too much activity in one area, the local the local principality will summon a pirate hunter. The only reason I didn't want to fight him is because I didn't want to lose any crew before going into this fight, but eh, hopefully I won't lose any or I'll lose very few. I didn't lose any. Okay, even better. Okay, we're gonna land here. So you can attack directly with your fleet and then go into the town. But I like to land near it. And then take everybody around the other side. Okay, so here's here's where we're at. Attack town. 341 pirates versus 440 soldiers. Now, you might be looking at it and going, Oh my god, Mal, you can't do that. Eh, you can. We, we, we'll probably be alright. Let's change our start location. This looks like a pretty good start location. So, I think we'll, I think we'll use this right here. Oh, 
All right, now you can see we can move. It tells you like we're on this particular unit, and it tells you where you can move to. Um, I think for now we're gonna go ahead and just move back. I'm gonna put everybody in cover. I think. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna go like this, and like so. We've got a lot of, um, we've got a lot of firepower because we have, um, we have a lot of cannons, and if I remember correctly, that is what fuels your number of buccaneers that you have, guys that can fire from range. These guys, okay, so I really don't want to move them. Moving through uh, foliage costs you more than one move. Uh, so I think what I'll do here is I'll just do control, or is it shift? Yeah, here we go. Shift, and we'll skip his turn. And we'll let the Spanish move up. Let's see, we've got other units back here. High ground plays a role in this, so you got to be very aware of where you're at. My officers, I think I'm going to leave... Continue to leave here. Yeah. Yeah, skip turn. And I'm going to move my regular crew pirate guys off to the side here. Put him down into some cover. I can take a shot here, so I might as well. Yeah, that was a pretty good hit there. They're having to use their moves to come up, so they're not getting a fire. We, we should be okay, I think, on this one. Do I want to pull back some more? Because this, let's see, he's going to go one, and then he's going to fire. Yeah, I think we want to move the officers back again. Yeah, we'll come back here. Yeah, let's fire on these guys. Right, and then we're gonna move the pirate, regular pirate group, right here. And I think I can get an angled attack here. Yep. Should be able to scatter that group. fire on these guys. Nice! It's going well so far, but now we're gonna start we're gonna start taking some hits. Oh he's got oh he's got more riflemen than I realized. It's alright, we should be okay. Should be okay. over. Alright, let's fire on... Actually, let's let's switch target. Let's see. Yeah, let's fire there. Thin those guys out a little bit. try this. Yeah, we're just gonna end up getting scattered, I think. Okay, I need to move back. Well, 
Well, this was going well for us. Now, I'm not so sure. <laughs> oh, it's looking, it's looking rough. It's looking rough. Side. Should be able to take those guys. Come on. Oh, come on. Games hate me. Why why do games hate me is the question. Come on, defend them guys. Defend, defend. Okay, good. Officers should be able to stand their ground. They'll move forward one and then flank. It should be okay. Hold steady. Hold steady. Oh crap. Now he's gonna run. Okay, we're probably screwed, folks. Probably screwed. <laughs> the adventures of the fuzzy bear. I don't know. It's not looking so hot. Well, I did want to thin out the crew, if you recall. We wanted to, that was one of our operational goals. <laughs> I would say we've been successful. I didn't count on them having this many, um, this many, uh, um, guys with uh, guns, with the, uh, you know, the Buccaneer guys. Uh... Let's try to take these guys out. Alright, that pretty much just care of that group. Uh-oh. Well, that's it for that. Done. Now, our guys retreated, so we're not done done, but this fight's over with. Question is, do we have enough guys to even sail back? I don't know. Let's find out. Yeah, we do. And our guys are happy now. See, because they got a bigger, bigger slice of this cut here. Oh, we got a shellacking, folks. That was a shellacking. No, no way around it. All right, but we're not going to end on that note. No, we are not. We are not. What we're going to do is we're going to go back, recruit some guys, and then we're going to go raid some ships, get some more gold. Or we could actually... Hmm. Yeah, I'll go grab a few more people. We'll raid, we'll raid a couple more ports, like, a, around them. Down. Are we there yet? No, oh, I don't need the ring. When is allowed? Oh, a skilled cooper aboard the. Okay. Uh, I had a 
Sin one, okay. Arden Grumman. Shipwright. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. that. <laughs> This guy? Yeah, it was this guy. I just want that specialist. Like, I don't even- I, I could care less, like, what country, what flag they're flying or whatever. If it's a specialist I can get, I'm fighting them. And it's worth it, too, because they stay with you. Whatever, like, temporary reputation hit you might get with one faction, one government, like, who cares for a long-term benefit for your team, right? Or for your crew, I mean? Yeah, there we go. Preserve food. Sturdy barrels. Thank you! Alright, now let's double-check. Who the hell are we at war with? Um, okay, so we're still at war with the Spanish. English and French are at war. English and Dutch are at war. So English is basically at war. Is the okay? So the English is at war with everyone. Yeah, at war. At war. At war. Okay. Hmm. So if I was, I, I gotta tell you, if I was further along right now, like if I had already like maxed out my promotional opportunities with the English, I'd flip on them right now and start attacking their ports and ships because why not? I would get improved relations with three other factions. I still might do it because I'm kind of a scumbag. I'm kind of a scumbag. Um, hmm. But I think what we'll do is we'll go... For now, since it's close by, we'll just we'll just attack some of these French ships over here that are conveniently waiting for us to take their gold. And then we'll have to break up the crew because we've been sailing with this crew for too long. Ooh, new warship, ship of the line. Okay, okay. Let's let's I wanna get to that ship. Can we Yes. Wow, 48 guns. Holy crap. Run, 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 run. Whew. All right, as long as we got the wind, we're okay, but holy crap. Oh, no, 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 no. Take too many hits like that. Would have been kind of funny if we didn't have a full fleet if we took this ship and then, uh, <laughs> and then we kept it and like we were using a ship of the line. Is our is our flagship a French ship of the line? That's pretty funny. There's a French raiding group over there, or English raiding group, I mean. Aren't you kind of getting their ass kicked right now? Alright, let's grab this. Now, at some point, they just start surrendering to you when you run out. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised these guys are. Hear me enough yet? Is that is that what I'm is that what I'm detecting? And into the fire you go. It's always a fire. Lots of fires on those ships. They always seem to be in the same spot. You know that? Pirate hunter, come on, pirate hunter. 
try to position yourself in favorable wind conditions before you engage. Like, see, see like I came over to the east side, so that I'd have the wind in my back. tell I thoroughly enjoy the sword fighting because it's hilariously fun <laughs> what we got over here a merchant man all right these French guys are really nice like hey we have gold and stuff come take it all right don't mind if we do Oh, look at that! See, they just surrendered. Nice! Didn't have much, but hey. When it literally costs you nothing? See, French Sloop of War, or the Pirate Sloop of War Fuzzy Bear. Oh, shit! Oh, no! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! We lost Fuzzy Bear! What happened? Oh my god, no! They must have hit they must have hit the stores. That that can't happen. Like if I wasn't at full health on my hull and if they get a lucky shot. Oh no. No. Okay, hold on. What do we have here? Um Okay, we'll we'll rename you. Okay, fuzzy bear. The second. Okay, okay, we're all right. <laughs> if you guys are expecting me to take this game super seriously, it's not gonna happen. So, um, I'm just not. I I love the game so much, and I refuse to play it all super serious. So. If you're looking for that in this LP, you're not gonna find it. Clearly. Okay, so I but I think what do we got? Twenty-one thousand gold. We should probably go break up the crew. So let's do that. Let's go. Let's go around here and see if there's any other. Ah, eh, here. Let's sell this stuff here. Take your gold. Okay. Uh, what we do want to do though, before we break up the crew, so you want to you want to get any upgrades that you want for your main ship. In this case, right, Fuzzy Beard the second, um, which I think actually I think we have everything, but just to make certain, because each port has a different specialty at their ship rates. Make sure. Yeah, it looks like we've got everything. And we should probably take any promotions that we want now. Because we're going to be out of the uh, commission for a while, right? Yeah, alright, let's trade with the merchant. Let's get rid of the rest of these goods. You can't, you can't really take it with you, so there's no reason not to sell as much stuff as possible. Like, down to basically nothing. And then sell off your ships, too, because you don't, you don't get anything back from that. You only get to keep your main ship. Alright, let's visit the governor. Yes, you're war with everybody. Re-duplicated. Oh, so there we go, 700 acres, because we waited. Yes. Okay, now, let's go over and talk to the Dutch, because we should have a promotion available with them as well. Staying friendly with more than one faction is a good idea. If for no other reason, it makes recruiting a crew easier, faster. Read the back. Type Okay, we don't need that. Trade for the merchant. 
Done with the food. It's all the ship right. Okay, so. Is there anything we need here? Nope. Alright, so let's just sell this stuff off. I did sell it stuff. Yeah, so I'm gonna dump nine cargo and I'm gonna lose 19 crew. I'm perfectly fine with that, right? Because. You check their status, 112 crew, they're very happy. And I'm gonna split up this 26k, I'm gonna take a double share because I'm a journeyman captain. And then the officers take a share and then they get a share. So the lower the number, the better. Um, and it helps the recruitment on the next go round. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. And you'll see what I'm saying. We're gonna divide up the plunder. because so we've got rid of our ships and we need to go ahead and do it because we've been at sea for 18 months. So we'll divide the plunder. Okay, with great anticipation, the lose divided up much crew. Each man eagerly, eagerly takes a small fortune of 215 gold as his share. You've, you've been able to keep your flagship, Fuzzy Bear II, as a journeyman captain. Your 10% share of loot comes to 2600. Sounds good. Now. Your health is excellent, your months fast quickly you become bored, flagship is refit, uh, da 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 da. Continue as journeyman captain or advance to adventure captain. I think at this point, uh, you know what, we'll go ahead, we'll go ahead and advance to adventure captain. Okay, so what was that? Six months? Let's check our status. We're now 20 years old and in excellent health. Your crew of 40 is very happy, because that's all you had remaining, right? And we still have Fuzzy Bear as our as our Fuzzy Bear the second as our flagship. So that's where we'll start off. That's where we'll start off next time. So hopefully you liked this one. You know, thumb there should be a thumbs up for Th Fuzzy Bear the second. <laughs> anyway, if you like this one, toss a thumbs up. As always, I appreciate your comments and feedback. Thanks so much for watching. And until later, I'm Captain Mal. See ya.